Understanding Epic Fail in Everyday English Hello, dear viewers. Today, we'll be diving into a fun and commonly used phrase in modern English, epic fail. Stick with us to find out what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in your conversations. Epic is a word that originally referred to a long narrative poem, often one that recounted the deeds and adventures of heroic or legendary figures. In modern slang, epic is often used to describe something extremely impressive or grand in nature. On the other hand, fail is a straightforward word. It means to not succeed in achieving something. Now, when these words combine, they create a sort of playful contradiction. Epic fail is a term used to describe a situation where a failure is so significant and usually unexpected that it's both humorous and memorable. Instead of just being a simple mistake, it's a mistake that stands out because of its sheer level of incompetence or because it was easily avoidable. For example, if someone tried to bake a cake for the first time and it ended up burnt and collapsed in the middle, you might say, that cake was an epic fail. The phrase became popular with the rise of the internet and social media platforms. Many online users began sharing their personal blunders, and others would comment, epic fail, to emphasize the extent of the mistake, often in a humorous and lighthearted way. Over time, it became a widely recognized term, even off the internet. Here are some examples to help you incorporate epic fail in your conversations. 1. I tried to fix the computer myself, but it's even worse now. It was an epic fail. 2. She tried to surprise him with a party, but he found out ahead of time. That was an epic fail. 3. Remember the time he attempted that dance move and fell? That was an epic fail. So, the next time something goes hilariously wrong or someone makes a memorable blunder, you'll know just the term to use. We hope you found this explanation of epic fail, insightful and entertaining. Keep practicing and incorporating these fun phrases into your conversations. Until next time, keep learning and having fun with English.